let's do this. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Good morning and welcome to Ranger Rob Country Living. And uh, we got a busy day. Today, well yesterday we got our wood chipper. And of course, there's some assembly required. And uh, this one, uh, by the way, it's called the Alpha Works gasoline engine anyways it's supposed to be heavy duty it's a good one uh, we'll let you know how we like it as you've seen in the past videos we have tons and tons of branches to chip up and uh, utilize the chips so we got that going on today and 12 yards yes 12 yards of mulch coming in uh, we're going with a kind of a dark black or a charcoal color highly recommended and uh, also we have a little bit more rototilling to do it just never ends does it so guys let's get started well I got the box open to the new wood chipper and uh, we just went to the dump yesterday and now it looks like I'll be going again pretty soon the way this is going so the problem is we have in Central Oregon is it seems like everything's out of stock and uh, so we've been using Amazon a lot. This thing weighed over 70 pounds. That poor UPS guy thought he was going to die. Uh, but Sherry's going to help me on this project today. <laughs> Unlike the rotodiller. And uh, she's uh, packed in there pretty good. So I'm definitely going to need some help. Um, I was going to kind of note. Uh, we were kind of lucky the other day though. There's a... Sh supposedly hard to get uh, canning jars and uh, Walmart actually had a pallet of them it's amazing so uh, we didn't hoard we just grabbed you know what one uh, two packages um, but every time I see any we buy more and uh, and they add up over time and uh, <clears throat> the other thing I'm worried about also is seeds so we've actually ordered a lot of seeds from all kinds of different companies uh, just to make sure we don't have any trouble next spring and uh, so those have been coming in so more boxes <laughs> so anyway guys let's get this thing put together well because I'm procrastinating I thought I'd show you one more thing I put in the uh, yard last night and they were gorgeous is I bought um, solar tiki lights that look like flames and I put them here's one here right there and I put four of them in the yard last night and they got charged up um, and I put two on the pond right here and I have another one over there anyway uh, they were gorgeous oh my gosh um, they didn't uh, charge very long so they are only on for an hour or two and it was beautiful so uh, I'd like to get more of them so could you imagine what this looked like at night lit up with the little um, tiki torches that are electric which is totally safe uh, it was beautiful I'd like to put more in here so uh, all right <laughs> let's go back to the wood chipper
Well, that was 12 yards of mulch. Um, yeah, I haven't, started, I haven't started assembly yet. I'm working on it. I have things to do. I hate assembly. All right, let's go. Go. We'll try again. completed this project. Uh wasn't actually too bad, was it? No, it's hot. It's just hot out, so it made it miserable. Uh, the only thing I found kind of funny about this is to put the oil in, I'll show you. Hey, down there. Right there. Um, this feeder gets kind of in the way, so luckily it's easy to remove. But it's the only drawback we found on it. So the next thing is we put oil in it and uh, we'll take it out to the field and uh, let's get this puppy dirty after I add some fuel. All right, done deal. Procrastinating paid off. It's done. All right, I have a correction to make here. So I showed you where the oil went in on the other side and then Sherry was off in the distance. This is, what's that orange thing on the other side? So down below here, you can see that there's a spot right there to put oil in too so it's got two locations so uh i guess it won't be that hard to put oil in it in the future amazing well we got this baby all fueled up and now we're ready to play with this dangerous toy so uh i think we can find a few sticks here to throw in there we're just going to do a test run uh, never used a chipper before, so should be fun. We got gloves. Not going to use safety glasses. I should probably, but uh, I'm just doing a test run. I'll probably get the... <laughs> once I run it once, I go, okay, safety glasses. Anyway, uh, let's give it a run. thing we're going to check and see what the chips look like if they're big tall long we don't have no idea so we're going to go take a peek there's our big pile of mulch too everywhere you walk around here reminds me of work so we're going to put this into the compost bin so let's see what it looks like but ah it chops them up pretty small look at that said you needed some browns, right? Yeah. Very good. That's a nice size. I like that. So some of the little smaller branches look like they just shoot through. But, uh, yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> so cool. Fun toy. I know, you got to be real safe with this thing, but boy, what a productive toy we got. All right, so we're gonna do one more test. We're gonna see how it does with mulch. So that's what the top feeder is for. So Sherry's gonna put the bag back on and we're gonna run, we got plenty of small stuff to throw in there. We'll see what it does to it and then we'll take that over to the compost bin so you can see what the results look like. 
Okay, so we learned something here. So with mulch, it's got to be true like leaves and loose stuff. Sure, we put a root in there before we did the other one. That's why we had trouble. But once we got loose stuff in there, it sucks it right up. Still got to be really careful with this thing. So we're going to take this bag off and go see what the mulch looks like. Okay, we're back at the compost bin and now she's going to empty out the mulch. We'll see what that looks like. So it's definitely been pulverized. It looks like the same thing I just put in, only smaller. So there you go, the two samples, the branches and the mulch. And uh, uh, you definitely gotta, you can't put branches in that top thing at all. Yeah. It's gotta be loose things like leaves and, and grass like we just did. Uh, but yeah, so far it's a pretty awesome tool. All right, now we're done doing samples and stuff. Our attempt will be to start getting some of these olive branches chewed up in here. And we can do that here because we've got the bag. And uh, so we're going to kind of just go ahead and do some of these and we'll let you know what problems we have. Because it's like, do we cut branches? Do we not? we got to see what we can feed this thing. So... Uh, yeah, the maximum di diameter of this uh, intake is three inches, and that's really pushing it. So we'll see how we do. Uh, we may have to get a chainsaw out here later, but we can do some of the small stuff right away. Yeah, it looks like we're getting a lot of mulch out of this. This is our second bag. Well guys, we thought we were just going to test the machine today, but we ended up doing half a Sherry's pile, well more than half a Sherry's pile. So we got this one over here done, got this one all done, we totally threw the chipper. We got that one to do either this evening when it cools off, and then uh, uh, let's put it this way, we're getting lots of stuff in our compost pile. So hey guys, uh, we got rototilling to do tomorrow, a bunch of stuff. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Please take the time to subscribe and join our family. Share our videos. Yeah, right now, stop. whoever your best friend is, share our video, would you? We appreciate it. The more support, the better. The better the support, the better we can be, I guess, right? So anyway, have a wonderful day. Be safe. Until next time, bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.